is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's future-focused conversation entitled Inspired to Innovate. I'm really thrilled to kick off the inauguration festivities with this exciting conversation focused on WPI's future in the context of a rapidly evolving world of higher education, technology, and global challenges. It's clear to me that we need well-educated, STEM-comfortable, uh, not only individuals, but maybe more importantly, our teachers also have to be comfortable with STEM disciplines in order to ensure that we continue to enjoy the life and quality of life that we have today. I think it's essential that STEM disciplines really take on the questions related to the entirety of the human condition, and they can't do that without the arts and humanities. If we were better at predicting the interface between human behavior and technological advances, better in this century than perhaps we were in the last century, can we avo avoid some of the unintended consequences of the, from the successes of technology? You know, if we had a robotics team in every high school in the United States, uh, we'd be a lot better off than we are today. And the robotics teams don't just teach software programming, mechanical engineering, they teach business skills, mm -hmm. how to work as a team and how to solve problems. If you think about it from a global perspective, you know, he who builds the best toys wins. So, or she, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know if it's she, yeah. she wins. <laughs> we can't have our kids be at the top of the world in performance on subjects if our expectations are under the ground. So high expectations is absolutely key. Innovation comes in many different flavors. Somebody once pointed out recently that we put man on the moon before we put wheels on the suitcase. <laughs> and, and, and having wheels on the suitcase is an enormous innovation as well. Yeah. Frankly, I think there hasn't been enough experimentation in higher ed. I think uh, WPI's plan is a great model of experimentation, and you, you have an incredibly innovative platform here where there's a lot of uh, room to continue experimenting. If you were able to create a whole new system of higher education from scratch, What's the first thing you would do to make sure it meets the needs of our time? I'd hire you as president. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <I missed> <laughs> <laughs>